Hi, my name is Robert Cass. I'm a site for Stalman Months in New York. And today I want to talk about painting Ritsuas. So on the market you'll find different types of Ritsuas. Uh, today it's very popular, the black on black Ritsuas. That's the, the Ritsu which is dyed completely through and through. And if you get those straps, they're a little bit more expensive, but you'll never find yourself in this situation, which we're going to be talking about today, having to repaint the Ritsuas. So assuming you have black on white Ritsuas, that means that the Ritsua, the natural skin, is a, a white or like a tan color. And the top layer of the, of the Ritsua is painted. Now what happens after several years of wearing the tefillin, they tend to wear out and you'll start to see little cracks develop or sometimes the paint just gets rubbed off of the surface, the top. And at that point you're no longer wearing kosher tefillin because the Ritsuas need to be black, 100% black. Now. How, what do you do when the Ritsuas start to develop cracks? So what I recommend is to right then and there call up a sofa or go to, you can come to my website, sofacenter.com and order new straps. I'll ship them out. If you want to send me the tefillin I'll, and order the straps, I'll put the straps on for you according to your minhug, the length that you need and mail your tefillin back to you. But what's if you don't have a pair of tefillin to use in the meantime? or you're you're not in the position to buy new to buy new Ritsuas right now you didn't budget it in so the only solution that there is really is to paint the Ritsuas now I don't recommend painting Ritsuas and I actually have not painted Ritsuas in several years now I mean I on a regular basis I should say I do do it here and there but I don't recommend it and I'll explain to you why so just to talk about the different stages in which you'll find the Ritsuas that we're talking about that need to be your painted Okay. If your Ritsuas look like this, if you bring your Ritsuas into me and they look like this, I, I'm not going to, even if you're willing to buy new Ritsuas, I'm only going to let you have black on black Ritsuas. Because this is way, 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 way beyond the state of kosher. And this... I would be too concerned that it would get a, a go again to a state where it would be no longer kosher. So I would say if your suits look like this, besides the fact that it's beyond any painting, I mean, even if I was to repaint this, it wouldn't last more than a couple weeks because the suit is so soft and so worn out, and and there is some paint there, and you're gonna paint the fresh paint on top of the the old paint which is starting to crumble. It's not gonna hold. It's not gonna hold. But then you then you have a situation like this where, uh, for the most part, the strap looks black. You're just going to find a few places where... Here, I'm going to bring it to the camera. You can see there's a few places which are starting to rub off, and then in some cases you'll see some smaller cracks that are also starting to develop. So this is like a in-the-middle situation. Also, when I get this kind of situation, I also like to replace the straps because in this in this... From my experience, when I painted Ritsuas that look like this, and again, I have some people that check fill on a yearly basis, so I was able to track it much more than the average sofa. So I have I have painted Ritsuas that look like this, and to get it back in a year's time, El before Rosh Hashanah for checking, to find it in the same state, and obviously worse than it was the year before. Imagine how I feel, because I painted it, and it didn't hold. So... And the reason why it didn't hold is because, again, you're painting fresh paint on top of old paint, which is going to continue to uh, come off. And cracks which were in the tefillin are not going to stop cracking. It's going to continue to, cr the crack is going to continue to develop. So if the crack is, let's say, in, it's in the first millimeter or two of the edge, if I fill that this year, next year, what's going to happen is the crack continues to develop and nobody painted it during the course of the year. And the average person is not sitting there examining their tefillin every single day after they daven. They're just putting on the tefillin, davening, and taking them off. So when I get when I get any ritsuas which are starting to crack, unless it's really, 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 really slight and it's just on the edge and it's a, a newer strap, I don't I don't paint it. I just I recommend replacing it because it's too big a risk to take. To you know, to take that you shouldn't be wearing tefillin because they're no longer considered black. So with that being said, if you can't bring it in to me to get it replaced and you can't or get it brought to any sofa to replace and you're in shul and you notice that a part of your tefillin uh, on the hand or the head needs to be touched up, so there's a couple of things you can do. So I'll, this is what I'll recommend you to do.
There's a couple of different products on the market. And the first one and the best one for the straps are these bottles. The reason why these are the best for the straps is A, because they're glossy, it's a thick paint, and it allows the paint to get into the cracks. So if you have a crack that's starting to develop on the Ritsua, you take this out, it's almost like white out, but it's, uh, it's black out actually, and it gets really good into the cracks. And there's different companies, different, but they all pretty much, they all pretty much do the same thing. The, the other products are the markers. The markers are really good for Ritsuas. If you just need a light touch up, it dries a lot faster than the bottle. And it's also good for the bottom. Don't use those, uh, these blackouts should not be used on the bottom because what it does is it creates a blob on the, on the tefillin, on the tefillin and it doesn't dry nice and it leaves, it just, it doesn't look nice. And you should much rather use the markers when it comes to painting the bot the bottom. It's also not as shiny, so it doesn't, it's not so, uh, it doesn't have such a contrast. So let's say you find yourself in shul and you need to paint your tzuas, you can't run to a sofa or you're in a place where you can't mill you, you can't, you just, you need something for now. That's what these products are made for. These are band-aids. These are temporary. It'll get you through a couple of days, a week, two, maybe a, a month or two, but it's not going to hold long term. Okay, remember that. Using a, this or using a marker is not going to hold long term. And even if you come into the office or any, even any sofa who's going to you know, take a brush and a bottle like I have over here and paint it, it might hold a little bit longer than both of those but it will not hold a year's time. So remember that this painting tefillin straps is a temporary solution, not a permanent solution. So if you're gonna paint the tefillin ritsuas, there's a couple things you need to know how to do it and how to do it right. The best possible way in this, not the best situation, not the best scenario, not the best situation. So let me show you how you need to do it. Okay, so here you have a pair of, of the, a tefillin that is starting to crack right over here you can see okay I'm gonna try to give you a good focus okay so now you see how the strap looks pretty good right now the thing is when you bend it all of a sudden so many more cracks are exposed that's losing focus but when it's like this it looks more black when you bend it the cracks begin to open and now that's how the tefillin is when you wear it on your arm this happens to be a shell roche tefillin but when, let's say the hand tefillin when you put it on your arm the way you're wearing it is it's round it's rolled so if you take the tefillin strap and you put it down on a table and you're going to take the little the brush okay you're going to take the brush You say, before you start painting anything, you say, and if you start painting like this, when it's on a flat table, what's going to happen is, it's going to dry. Then you're going to put it on and wear it, and you're going to bend it, and then what's going to happen is the cracks are going to be exposed again, because you didn't paint in the cracks, you painted over the cracks. And as soon as you bend it, the cracks are going to be re-exposed. So when you're going to paint the Ritsuas, what I tell you to do is take a tube like this. You can get a mailing tube from any UPS or wherever. Just get a mailing tube, not expensive. Take the strap that you need to paint, wind it around the tube. Now what that does is it creates a similar situation as to if you, as if you were to be wearing the actual tefillin straps, and it exposes any cracks that there might be when you would be wearing the tefillin. And once you have the strap on like this, that's how you're going to paint the strap. Okay, of course, remember to say you're doing it for the mitzvah, the sake of the holiness and the, of the tefillin. Then you're going to paint the straps. Okay? Now, all the products that you saw that I showed you, whether it's the, the ink bottle or the marker, you can find on my website. I'll put links in the description to buy those products. Like, but like I say, like I recommend, the best thing would be to order new straps. The best thing would be to order new straps, and uh, if you want, you can order the straps. I'll tie it for you, and I'll mail it to you. That way, all you have to do is put it on. Uh, but I'm also going to be making videos on tutorials how to tie the tefillin, the knots. So in the event that you do need to order new straps, I can send it along with the video to teach you exactly how to tie it. That way, you don't have to go a day without your tefillin. Anyways, if you like this video, consider subscribing. 
Like the video and share it. Thank you. This is Robert Cast from the Silver Center in Muncie, New York.